been today. Got an else one, uh, Rachel, Ali, Sam. Need a bit of peace and quiet. What's your excuse? Why are you opening up? Pete dropped the keys around. Where's Debbie? At the hospital. She's not coming in today. She won't be in all day. Got stuff in her mind. What she must be going through, poor kid. Carly's not happy with you. Hey, you cancelled on her last night. She's well fit. You could do a lot worse than her. Shot it, the pair of you. What's wrong with him today? No idea. Right, come on, lad, work to do. Do you know what? You want to play boss? Fill your boots. Hey, you can't just walk out. Yeah? So he's going to stop me. All right, Mum, well, if you want me to, I just say, OK? All right, love you. Bye. What's the verdict? Oh, Granny Clegg has two cracked ribs and a broken leg. What, from falling off a chair? Well, the chair was on the kitchen table and she was on her tiptoes trying to clean the ceiling. She's a walking accident. Sounds like she won't be walking again in a hurry. <sighs> yeah. Where are you going? Pete Hamish. Oh, no, I've already done it. You get off to work. No, it's early yet. No, you don't want to wind Jay up, do you? Well, yeah, I do. The way he's been treating Mum. I bet he's funny about this Granny Clegg thing. Yeah. Well, all the more reason to keep him sweet, then, isn't he? Go on. You get off. OK, I'll get my bag. What's wrong? Hmm? There's something wrong with Amish. I've got a phone Paddy. Well, why didn't you tell Belle? Hey, That pony's been the love of her life. No point worrying her unless I have to. Debbie, you're going to be fine. Just, just go on and get some sleep. Oh, and make sure you find some breakfast, yeah? Right. Bye. Have you heard from the prisoner about Charity? She's never there when you need her. You know that she loves you very much, don't you? I don't love her. Listen, I might go up to the hospital there, so why don't you come along and see your little brother? No. Well, you're going to have to see him eventually. Once your mum gets out, she's going to want you both together. I'm not going back to her. I'm staying with you and Moira. Well, we'll talk about that near the time. Right, let's get you to school. I'll see you out. Uh, it was um, three big breakfasts, wasn't it? That's £13.20, please. Yeah, I'll get those. That's generous. Yeah, yours me, don't you, pal? If you say so. That uh, grind org is definitely knackered. And the silent bit needs to vary. Get a new one. With what? I still haven't paid for the food order. Oh. Expensive, is it? Yeah, about 15 grand at least. Well, uh, we'll think of something. Yeah, we're gonna have to. You're early for once. Why is that a problem? And here he is, the blushing groom. You all right, Sam? I've done eggs. No, ta. Are you free for dinner? I don't know. Please, Sam, I ate it when we fall out. Why'd you keep having to go, then? We've been under a lot of pressure, haven't we? I know it's not an excuse. No, it ain't. I need milk. Well, you know where the fridge is. Not from your shop for the vets. Oh, just give me ten minutes. Um, you got Russell there? Nah, haven't seen him since yesterday. He cried off on me. Well, have you asked him why? He knows where to find me. Yeah, not in your shop. You can't just keep closing when you feel like it, Carly. You've got customers to think about. I've been at it since six o'clock this morning. I needed a shower. You need staff. Can't afford staff. No, I've got ten grand to burn. Oh, don't remind me. You do know it's a good thing, right? It just... It doesn't make any sense. I mean, who shoves wads of cash through a letterbox? It's got to be Adam. I mean, he's the one who knocked you up. Oh, he doesn't have that kind of money. <laughs> It takes about five minutes to blag ten grand off a bank. Apparently. Hi. Hi. Megan called and she said that she'll meet you at your Italian place in half an hour. Right. 
Why don't you just text you? Can you go and see how Harry Bryan's getting on with the chocolate pandas, please? Why? Belt, you have to question everything. OK. Sorry. What have you found out, then? Nothing. Oh, well, well, that's a good thing, then, isn't it? Not if Rachel's abusing my boy. You know, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to go and fetch Archie. I'm going to bring him to yours. Yeah, if Rachel will let you have him. I won't take no for an answer. I need to know that he's all right. What do you reckon? I can't really be sure without doing more tests. You can see he's in real pain, though. The symptoms would suggest it's serious colic. Oh, it can't be that bad. Bell would have spotted something. You can't always tell without doing an examination. I'll give him some painkillers and I'll come back at tea time, see how he is then. But if there's no improvement... Oh. Bell's grown up with him. I mean, he's like a member of the family. And how's Lisa going to react? Hey. It's a bit early to start panicking. I'm sure Paddy will do everything he can, won't you? Yeah, of course, yeah. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. You're always sorry. I've had enough of it. Shouting and throwing stuff. You aren't right. I know. Come see Archie. Hey. I want to spend some time with him. Hey, yeah. I'm not arguing about it. OK. I'm sick of fighting. Just drop him off in a bit. Oh. Right. Well, good. Come on, mate. <laughs> Let's go. We'll be a couple of hours. How are you? Let's go. See, I can be nice when I try. You ate Jay's guts. Yeah, but I don't hate you. Getting married. You only asked me cos we were in court. No, I swear. People always think that they can take advantage of me. Well, they can't, especially when they want to be my wife. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to say. You never used to be like this. You helped Sandy when Ashley were bullying him. Now you're getting as bad as Andy when he were picking on Joe. What I've had, I'm not that bad, surely. It's just Jay. It's all this court stuff. You know, once we're married and, and once I know I've got Archie. Please, Sam, I love you. And you love me, don't you? Don't know. Sam! Brenda is very fussy about what we pen on our notice boards. Yeah, but she and Bob might like to enter. I'm looking to invest in local businesses, and I'm offering mentoring and advice. Uh, if they could come up with a viable plan to expand this place, for example, well, I'd love to hear about it. Oh, when you put it like that, I'm sure she'll say yes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's always good to put something back into the community. And even better to set up a charity and qualify for the tax breaks. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, why well, wouldn't it be? Where a car now, please. Mind you, to make this worthwhile, I need to spread the net as wide as I can. I've got a contact at the courier. Excuse me. Cheers for breakfast earlier. Oh, by the way, I need 15 grand. What? More needs a new auger. <laughs> well, now you're just taking the mic. No, I'm deadly serious. You're not getting another penny out of me. I could always ask Daddy. Your choice. But if anything ever happened to you... Yeah, but he didn't, did it? You, you checked him over and he is fine. Aren't you, Poppy? He's not fine, though, is he? You know, he's living with a bunch of waifs and strays. And what can Rachel offer him? He should be with me. You will be. Hmm. As soon as the custody case is settled. Yeah. Would you like that? Would you like to live with Dada? Dada. Hmm. Hmm. It's going to be okay. 
I love you. Mm, I cannot wait to walk down the road arm in arm with you. Mm, well, a few more weeks and then I am all yours. Cookie! I've already moved most of my money so Megan can't find it. She's gonna be gutted, you know. I need every penny for my new life with you and Archie. I'm gonna make you happy, I promise. I don't know why I saddled myself with Megan. Pity, I suppose. Hey, you better never do the dirty on me, do you hear me, mister? Layla, you are the love of my life. For a schoolboy, ain't he? Has he been hitting on you? Oh, just flashing his cash. He carries fifty pound notes around. I've left the money in the car. Ah, oh, cheers, mate. Oh, and I think you've got a leak. What? I'm the. Uh, have you got a minute on here? I could do with a bit of a chat. Yeah, sure, mate. No problem. New one. Just checking you're not winding rabbit up again. What? It's one thing making him pay for Adam and Vic's honeymoon, but don't start pushing for anything else. You trying to tell me what to do? No, I'm just saying, leave him alone. Well, I have. If you've got any sense, so will you. Yeah, I know. I've got more important things to worry about than Robert Sugden. He's served his purpose, so just chill out, yeah? Right, OK. Good lad. So what is it, Sam? Robert's not been giving you a hard time, has he? Right, it's, it's not like that. It's... It's just this... this uh, it's, it's not about me. It's this, this person that I know. They, they've been getting ass up. Off who? Off this, this other person. Well, you're being a bit vague. Well, it's a bit like... You know... You and Joe. I, I, I aren't having a go. It, it's just... I said I'd get some proper advice, like. I don't know if I can go into that. But there's this person, they're, they're desperate. Because there's this other person, they, they keep saying they're sorry, only it, it keeps on happening. So, so I was wondering, how did you make things better with Joe? I didn't. I can never take back the hurt I caused her. But, I mean, you, you, you're OK now, aren't you? I mean, you don't hit people no more. How, how did you do that? I don't know. I suppose I just saw what I was doing and wanted to be a better person. You can't force people to do things. It's got to come from them. But they, they really love each other. I'm sorry, Sam. I can't help you. There aren't any easy answers. Well, I've just seen Dan again, and he's wondering where you are. So? So why aren't you at work? Hmm? Oh, come on, something's bothering you. Is it about Carly? Why would I care about her? Ah, uh, she's your girlfriend. Yeah. She thinks she is. <sighs> right, well, I can tell that she likes you. Yeah, loads of girls like me, Finn. It's the problem. How do you mean? Oh, you've not been playing away, have you? <sighs> just... just forget it, yeah? Right, well, get back to work, Ross. Debbie's got enough problems worrying about that baby without you letting her down. Debbie and the baby, that's all anyone ever talks about. I'm sick of it. What, all right, well, she's going to be our sister-in-law. Yeah, that's a joke. How is it? Pete loves her, she loves him. Yeah? How come she slept with me, then? What? <laughs> now you're winding me up. I wish I was. He's had his afternoon, Kip. Right, thanks. 
Everything all right? As if you care. Hmm. Not remotely. Oh, look. The happy family. Enjoy it while it lasts. Um, have you come to pack your bags? I don't know. I wouldn't blame you. Why should a lovely bloke like you be lumbered with a maddy cow like me? Really, I'm sorry, you know. I don't know why I get so angry and I could give you all the excuses, but you've heard them all before. I'm just pathetic. Don't say stuff like that. Just wish we could go back to this. Remember the picnic? I made egg sarnies and you need a couple of cans off sack because we're so skinny. Oh. I'm going to try and be a better person. Really? I'm not saying it's going to be easy. But you're the best thing that's ever happened to me and I love you so much. I love you too. I just want the chance to get your trust back. I am on my final warning. Agreed. Shouldn't you be scrapyarding? Yeah, in a bit. Something you want to tell me? No, Mum, it's nothing. Just relax. You want to chill out? What? I spoke to Adam and Vic. They're loving the honeymoon, so it's money well spent. I saw you giving Kane dirty looks earlier. Just drop it. He said he's going to leave you alone. Leave me alone? Is that what he told you? He's demanding 15 grand. What? When was this? This morning. No way. What do you care? I can destroy him the stuff I've got on him. What stuff? Him and Chrissy. What? All over each other. No. He loves Myra. I had photos. He made me delete them. And now if I don't give him the money, he's gonna tell everyone about you and me. He wouldn't do that. I only told him about us, so you'd stop blackmailing him. Yeah. Well, it looks like he's taken us both for mugs, so thanks for that. What now? Oh, a cab. Right. Yeah, see you soon, sis. Okay, see you soon. All right. Um, just give some mug, yeah? I will. Yeah, I'm mine. See ya. Love you. Love you. Love you. Just be careful. Hey, there you go, mate. Dropped. Oh, it's uh, it's missing an eye. Eh? Jay only gave him that a couple of weeks ago. Hang on a minute. What's that? It's a camera. What's that doing in there? Spying on us. <sighs> Dad, why is Gary's locked up? Well, late dinner. I've not stopped all day. And where's Ross? Well, I went off first thing. I've not seen him since. Why do I bother with you two clowns? Don't take it out on him. Get back to work. Mm, yes, boss. Where's Aaron? Why? Why well, keeps texting me? I hope nothing's kicking up. He wants to see me. I'm here. Where's the problem? <sighs> I'll kill him for this. But we don't know for sure it's Jay, do we? Who else is going to dish the dirt on me? He's probably been in there ever since he gave it to Archie. It could have recorded all our private conversations. What, everything? Oh, God, what has he heard? I, but we can be all right now. Well, he doesn't know that. What kind of mum does it make me look like? Uh, it'd be all right. Not if he tells the social. Right, there's got to be a memory card in here. Go and get Ruby's laptop. I need to know what he's got on me. You lied to me. What? You know what? 
All right, you've been speaking to Sugden. You're supposed to be staying away from him. So are you. Fifteen grand, what's wrong with you? I can afford it. He's getting what he deserves. What, cos he played away? And you wouldn't ever think of straying, would you? Just leave it. Why, cos you can dish it out, but you can't take it. Problem? No, no, no. We're fine. My life's just a little joke to you, innit? It's the way you live it. You're a walking embarrassment. Aaron! No! Don't even think about it! You do that Stop again! It. What the hell's got into you two? Obvious we've been fighting. All couples fight. It don't mean nothing. Well, it better not. Like, if you knew how we'd have said so in court yesterday. Maybe. This stuff, it's, it's just all noise and carpet. It is gonna be oh, okay. wait. Back up. What's she doing on this? It is gonna be okay, you know. Dunno. Not really. Cameron never lies. Cameron never lies. He's not the only one who can play dirty. Okay. <sighs> Emmerdale continues in half an hour.